What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna be checking out the secure latch from Kurt. It's gonna be a pencil hook slash ball mount combo that you can hook up to your trailer, whether you have a standard coupler or a lunette ring like we have right here, it can do both. So that way you don't have to buy two different ball mounts and switch them out when it's time to hook up your trailer. Either one of those, it's good to hook up and get on your way. Let's check it out. Today we're gonna be focusing on the two and a half inch hitch version with the two inch ball. So the weight capacities overall are gonna be 20,000 pounds, and then for the ball, it's gonna be 10,000 pounds. You can switch out the ball and get a different ball. If this isn't the right size, you can go all the way up to a two and five sixteenths. That's gonna change the weight capacity to 14,000 pounds. Now, you can also just get the pencil hook if you don't want the combo. You can get that separately as well. And it can even go up to a two inch hitch. So if that's the kind of hitch you wanna aim for, they have that version as well. No matter what version of this you get, they're all gonna work the same way. So let's go through the process of hooking up your trailer. First up, remove our pin out here, and we'll back our truck up to the lunette ring, which will hit here, and you'll hear it, and it'll go down and get latched in. It latches itself automatically. It won't be able to pop back up. So then we just replace the pin. With that in place, now I can go ahead and lower the trailer down. Seems like that auto latch worked really well. You saw it come down through there and then pop right back up. You see I can't push up from the bottom. So if it popped up, it wouldn't push it anywhere. It only has that downward push there. The ring also sits nicely down here in the hook. That's gonna sit real nice around there and keep it a, probably a steady ride for you. So now we can add our pin back in to keep that secure. and then add our safe chain hooks. We can take our extra chain and hook it up on these hooks. That way it keeps it up and off the ground. Once you parked your trailer and it's time to unhook, you just pop that pin again. That way we can flip this latch like this. And now when we go to lift this part up, it's gonna hit there and flip back over. Remember it won't go back up this way. So you can't just lift the trailer this way. You have to flip this over and then it'll release it. I'm gonna pop this pin out and show you how this moves around. Now we've already seen the lock position and how you get it to unload, but you can actually, if you're gonna just use the ball mount for a standard coupler, you can get this out of the way. There's gonna be two sets of holes I can show you here that the pin's gonna go through. So we can just line up this one right there, put our pin back in, and now the latch is gonna stay out of the way. So then you can use your standard trailer coupler on your ball here and just use it like you would normally. We loosened up these bolts just to show you its adjustability. So wherever you need this to be on this back plate, you can slide it and then tighten it back down. Once you figure out where you need it along these channels, you can tighten these back down. Make sure you torque them so it stays in the place. Look at the instructions and see where you need to torque it to. Now you're gonna have nine and a half inches of adjustability up and down. So it really helps you out. You're not locked in for like inch intervals like some of the other ball mounts where you only have specific places. You have this whole area to use this and figure out where you need it's best for your trailer. Now with the hook, this is gonna work with an inner diameter lunette ring of two and a half inches all the way up to three inches. So the ball mount here, and the pins and all the gold looking stuff is going to be zinc plated. So you don't have to worry about rust or corrosion. That's gonna hold up a long time when you leave it outside. The rest of it is gonna be in combination of drop forged steel and cast iron. Now it doesn't come with a hitch pin, but you can get a locking hitch pin from our site, which is an e-trailer brand one. That way you can lock up your ball mount when you're not around and nobody can mess with it. Overall, I was impressed with it. I really like that it's a ball and pencil hook combo. That way I don't have to switch out my ball mount when I'm hooking up the trailer. I can just leave it in there and it works for either one I want to pull. The other thing I like is that it works so well, that ring fit right down here in this groove here and set and I just felt more confident about it than I do with some of the other pencil hooks that just have that flat spot that it sits on. It just was made for that to sit in there and stay there real nice. It was really easy to operate. I like that latch. 
that's a good mechanism just to know that it can't come pop back up. You're, you're gonna be fine once you get it all hooked up. Well, I think that about does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.